Hi everybody, today is November 11th. This is a workout I did Friday for shoulders with a little bit of legs and I didn't have my video camera with me so I didn't videotape it. So I'm not actually doing the workout now but I'm gonna show you the exercises and I'm gonna post the, um, the workout too with the weight and the, the sets and everything that I did. Okay, the first exercise is a single dumbbell press. I used 10 pounds and did 15 reps. You want to stand about shoulder width apart, slight bend in your knee, tighten your core. When you tighten your core, it's like somebody punched, you know, it's going to punch you in the stomach. You know how you would tighten if somebody was going to punch you. That's how you engage your core or tighten your core. I like to put this hand behind my back. And when you do these, you want to make sure you're not twisting. Okay, you want to keep this tight so you're just pushing straight up. Okay, that makes you kind of use and flex your core and your glutes in order to stabilize yourself. Um, I did 15 on one side, switched, did 15 on the other side. You want to keep this as, as tight and as still as possible. So the only place that you're moving is from your shoulder. Went right back to the other side, did 15. Right back to the other side, did 15. And then one more set, 15, and then 15. So it was three, three sets back and forth nonstop. So that, that was the first exercise. Next up, I did a superset, um, two different exercises, both for shoulders again. First up are double laterals. Again, anytime you're doing anything standing, it's good to bend your knees a little bit and tighten your core or engage your core. Double laterals. This is a side lateral here. Double laterals or double side laterals are a, they have a pulse at the top. You want to make sure you're leading with your elbows and just letting your hands follow. So you're not bringing the weight up, you're bringing your elbows up. So when I come up, um, my hand doesn't go above my elbow. So you want to remember that while you're doing these, that this is the leading point. You have a slight bend in your arm. This is your leading point. And when you're doing the pulse, you're doing it from here. That gets the top of your shoulder. That gives you that nice cap, that separation between your shoulder and your arm. So if you're doing it this way and your hands go higher than your elbows, you start to work the front of your shoulder instead of the side of the shoulder. So it's important to keep your elbows higher than your hands or at least in the same, on the same um, plane. So you're working the top of your shoulder. Like I said, that gives you that good separation between your shoulder and your arm and gives you that nice um, cap to your shoulder. So, um, five pounds, 25 reps, so that'd be one, two, three, did 25 of those, went right into dumbbell punches, I did 50 reps here, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, did 50, um, whew, that gets you winded, <laughs> um, the faster you go, the more it makes you use your core and and your um, your legs. You have to you have to really stabilize yourself with your core in order to go that fast. If you go slower, it doesn't have to be quite as tight. But if you really want to get everything out of it that you can, you're going to go fast, and you're not going to be twisting your body. You're going to keep this still, and you're if you're looking in the mirror. You're aiming kind of like where your nose is. You're punching right towards your nose in the mirror, but the faster you go, the more this has to be tight and engaged. So if you want to bring this in a little bit more, go a little bit faster pace. So um, I did 25 here, um, 50 here, and then rested, and then did, the, did that two more times. So a total of three, um, sets, three um, sets of the superset. A superset is two exercises 
back to back without any rest, and then you rest. So I did those two exercises, one right after the other, and then rested, did them again, and rested, and did them again, and rested. Now we're bringing a little bit of legs in. You're going to use one dumbbell. You're going to hold it like this. You want to bring your chin up and make sure that you keep your body upright. Okay, you don't want to look down. You want to keep your back flat. This is a front lunge with the front dumbbell raise. So this is going to get the front of your shoulders and get your, your legs and your um, glutes. So 10 pounds here, one 10 pound dumbbell, 10 reps. So that would be one, two, three, four, five, went to 10 on that. Ten pound dumbbell went right into um, rear dumbbell raise. This is for the back of your shoulder. You want to keep your back flat and raise up. Again, with these, you're leading with your elbows and you're staying arched up. So I have my back flat and I'm arched up. So I did. Um, a 10 pound dumbbell, 10, and then those I used 5 pounds and did 20, rested, and then did those two exercises two more times, so a total of three sets. With this one here, this is for the back of your shoulder, so it's very important to lead with your elbows and just go to about right there. This part of your shoulder can only bring your arm up so high. So you wanna make it to where you're just rotating here. I see a lot of people do these and they're trying to get them really high and they're crunching their back together. If you're really trying to hit just here, it's not a back exercise. It's a rear delt or um, the back part of your shoulder. So, um, if you want to, I, for me, it took me a long time to learn how to feel that muscle. To me, I picture like a little, <laughs> like a little rope. It's like a little piece <laughs> that goes like right here. It's just a little piece right there. And if you kind of visualize that, it makes it a little bit easier to, to feel. But um, if you can't, if you, ha if you have a hard time feeling it, um, you might want to try it without any weights and just go right here. So see how the inside of my arm is here and then I'm pushing up, watch my hand. So that's how, how I'm rotating. And from the side, it's kind of here. So I'm not out this way, I'm not back. I'm kind of slight bend and it comes up. It's almost like if you were standing in a box your fingertips are angled into the corner of your box in front of you. Um, but when you're pushing the weight up, you're not thinking of bringing your hands or the weight up because then that happens. You're thinking of pushing your elbows up. You're leading with just your elbows. So if you practice without any weights, you can learn how to feel this muscle. And then you want to start with a light weight, like five pounds, three pounds, maybe even three pounds or five pounds. Um, the, heavier, the heavier you go with these without knowing how to feel it, um, makes it a lot harder to learn how to feel. You can't go too heavy at first. So um, if, um, if you're not feeling it, you can also hurt yourself too if um, you go too heavy too soon. The last superset, are dumbbell plank taps and over the tops. And this is going to hurt <laughs> because these the little pebbles right here. Um, but you're going to get yourself in plank position. 
and you're going to tap, tap. I did 30 of these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Notice my um, hips weren't turning. You want to really engage your core and try to keep your hip bones facing the ground every time you pick your hands up. Your body's going to want to turn, but if you keep this tight, you'll stabilize yourself and your hips shouldn't turn. Um, the wider you go with your stance, the easier it's going to be for balance. The more you come in, it's going to be harder. Um, so if you find you're turning too much, you might want to go a little bit wider with your feet. I did 30 of those. It doesn't matter what you use. You can use anything, really. You can use a um, can of soup or a book or um, anything you want, really. You want to make sure you touch. <laughs> you don't want to just kind of like go over. You want to be fast, as fast as you can, and accurate. Um, if you can't do on your feet, you can maybe drop to your knees and try it from your knees. Um, so I did 30 of those and then went into um, over the tops. And this was in one of the other videos. Okay, I actually did it off of a bench in the gym, which is a little bit higher. The higher your platform, the more it's really going to pull in back here. Um, you can do this on just this if you want to. And go here. If you want to get more leg into it, you actually have to do more of a squat. Um, you can use a concrete block. Um, basically whatever you can think of to, to step over. And like I said, it doesn't have to be really high. You can still get um, the cardio effect out of it. Um, by jumping as high as you can. Like that. Um, like I said, you can go here. But if you want to pull more of your legs and your butt into it, you have to add that squat. So I did 20 of those, rested, went back, did 30 of the dumbbell plank taps. 20 here, rested, and then one more time between the two exercises. It was a good workout if you try it. Let me know what you think, comment below. And if you liked it and you want to see more, give me a thumbs up or a like if you're on Facebook. And um, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.